Hey everybody, so in my last video I went ahead and I showed you guys a little bit on how to make a livery or a texture for um, a vehicle um, in GTA 5. I took Photoshop and now we're going to go ahead and take OpenIV and we're gonna, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it because it is important and if you guys don't know how to do this then unfortunately it, it things could go wrong and so basically what I mean by that is if you don't have the exact name of the replacement that you're putting in there and if they don't match what will end up happening is it won't map correctly and you'll see it turn out like a funky green yellow purple color and you'll just know that the car doesn't know how to map itself because it can only map per that name because um, that's how it's coded. Uh, but from here, what we're going to do is we're going to always make sure you go into edit mode when you are getting ready to change out a car or a texture. Um, we're, I'm going to go to my mods folder, update, uh, 64 DLC packs, and then I have all of my stuff in here. So I'm using, again, um, Captain 14's uh, Sheriff Replacement Pack. So I'm in his pack right now. DLC, 64 levels, GTA 5, vehicles, and then the Sheriff Replacement Pack. Now, this is actually what I have in there right now. Which is one that I'm making. Um, and then, what we're going to do go ahead and go into the textures we're going to delete this one out actually I'm going to cancel that really quick because I need to show you go back in here All right, we're going to go in here to I want you to look specifically at that right there chgr underscore sign underscore one if it is not that name, it will not properly map it. We're going to go ahead and replace it. And I put it, I think it was like in here. Yep, I put it right here. So chgr underscore sign underscore one. And so that's exactly what it needs. I can do a couple of different things. I can move this around a little bit. I can either drop and... Oh, it won't let me because they did it this way, but if I hadn't um, asked to replace it, I could have opened my own and I can just drag the files in and replace the files automatically. Um, but for this, I'm just going to hit open, it'll replace it, and you'll be able to see it. It'll blatantly, yeah, you can see obviously where everything is. And then I'll go ahead and hit save. And so now, when I go back into my fragment, because that's the difference, that uh, the dot .yft is a fragment, there you go. I mean, obviously, that's not something I would probably want to have. That just does not look right. But <laughs> you can see it's obviously the car that I went ahead and made. And so you can go in there now, and you can create your own cars, and... Um, just be very careful of what you name it. Uh, some cars can have multiple liveries. You will find out very quickly. It's literally the same name, but like two. So chgr underscore sign underscore two underscore three underscore four. Um, but you'll you'll figure out when you go into the game if it can handle it. You won't be able to tell in here because this will take the first. Uh, texture that you have. So if you want to test each one individually, you'll have to all rename them to chgr underscore sign underscore one, put them in one at a time, make sure they work, and then you can go back in and see I think some of them can hold up to eight different liveries. 
Um, but don't quote me on that. It's all based on the person who makes the car. Not gonna lie. I really like Captain 14's car. Really nice car. Simple idea, but it gets the job done. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.